Hey guys, welcome to Aptcode. In the last episode of the unit testing tutorial, we look at the at value source and at enum source annotations, right? So in this episode, uh, I'm going to introduce you a test reporting plugin uh, or the tool uh, called Allure, right? So this is uh, their uh, documentation. So as they specified. Uh, Alloy Framework is a flexible, lightweight, multi-language test report tool that uh, and you know um, some explanation, right? So if we look at this uh, report, uh, we can get uh, different different trends, categories, suits, and different uh, things uh, from this reporting, right? So uh, this is not coverage report, but a, a test. Report uh, where you can uh, see how many tests uh, suite are there, how many tests are there, and what are the status of them. Right. Also, you can categorize them as uh, severe, critical, and so on. Right. So in this tutorial, I'm not going to you know uh, go step by step to do uh, things. I have configured the Maven and Allure uh, to the previous. Uh, uh, project we used in the earlier video right so uh, we have first here uh, three properties which is uh, first one is Allure Maven version and uh, this is the latest Maven uh, Allure Maven plugin version right so uh, this one is the Allure report dependency and it's 2.13 at the um, the latest version at the uh, recording moment right so and we need to have aspect J a version which is 1.9.1 right so next thing here i'm using java 13 right so in java 13 we don't have jxp content in the source uh, java jdk right so we need to add that jxp dependencies also so i have jxp api and jxp implementation added as dependencies right so next thing we need to configure jacoco because uh, uh, these uh, Jacoco and Alvear both are using uh, Java agents, right? So we need to pass the both Java agents to the uh, prepare agent thing, right? So basically, uh, our line to the uh, sure fire, we need to pa pass uh, Jacoco one and Alvear one, right? So uh, here I have uh, configured that uh, uh, added configuration. Uh, tag uh, where specify the jacoco binary file as uh, target jacoco.txt right and property name as surefire online right so now we can use that one in the surefire plugin uh, if you don't know surefire plugin is the one uh, that is responsible for running unit tests right in the maven environment okay so uh, in arg line we need to have this sure uh, fire arg line which is set by the java plugin right so next thing we need to have java agent uh, as the this aspect j weaver jar right so uh, next we need to have something called properties uh, here we have listener as the alloy j unit file that's the listener that uh, and understand the test running under the JUnit file. Next, we have set up several system properties. Uh, one is auto detection enabled, and then the alloy result directory. Right. So I have set it to uh, basically this one is the target directory, and then alloy results. Right. So that's it about the uh, system properties. So the next one is we need to have uh, this aspect J Weaver dependency. Uh, underneath the surefire plugin right so if i go back and uh, list the requirements uh, one by one we need to have these three properties then uh, jaxb dependencies if you are using uh, about java 8 right and next we need to have this configuration in the jacoco if i if you are using jacoco right uh, next you need to have this arg line and these properties correctly right and final thing is this reporting element you you should have this exclude default true otherwise uh, 
hello plugin is uh, behaving something uh, something like you know uh, unexpected behaviors can be occurred uh, if we don't use this one right so we need to have this plugin uh, and the alum version which is the latest one at the moment of the recording right so uh, this configuration we need to have report version and the report directory please add this one otherwise uh, it uh, may delete the alum result directory and uh, you may end up with the no results right so let's run the command uh, for the generated reports and running all the tests and generate the report right so basically we need to run maven clean install site right uh, if you don't know about this uh, run anything dialog you can uh, double click control key in the IntelliJ and type it so I have typed it earlier so I'm gonna execute that one, right so uh, all three maven goals are running now So there are several errors coming up because of the java 13 we can safely ignore those things for the moment and let's focus on the reporting thing uh, for for the moment right so we got the target directory and alva report uh, so if we open it in the open in browser chrome right uh, we got this kind of error uh, this kind of report right so we don't have categories because we don't specify those things right so yeah we have two suits we, we uh, it uh, automatically identifies the two test classes as the two suits right so we get we have this graphs right and the timeline and different things we can actually uh, use uh, some uh, alloy annotations to um, tailor the report uh, very uh, you know uh, very pleasant manner right so if I go to math helper test, we can use at story annotation, right? Uh, and at epic annotation and at description annotation, right? So I'm gonna use epic annotation and say math operations, right? And we can have a feature annotation saying math helper methods, right? So in the factorial test, I can have story uh, when user enters number to factorial, it should returns return values factorial, right? So. Um, that's the story and we can have description yeah, you can say factorial it uh, calculates right so uh, you can add those things to the other methods also right so for the moment I'm not going to add those things and uh, okay guys we got the uh, all reports done so let's take a look at the report we have this uh, annotation data here appeared in math operation math help methods and the story as the when user enters number to factorial it should returns values factorial right uh, like that you can add uh, annotations here for each method and tailor the report uh, as you want it right i'll put this uh, project in the uh, github and um, i'll add the uh, url to the report in the description box so thanks for watching guys uh, if you have any problem and any uh, errors during the setup uh, please uh, put it in uh, comment section and uh, if you uh, enjoy this video and learn something from out of it please uh, press like button and subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching and uh, let's meet in the next tutorial uh, until then happy coding bye bye